This is LEGO 2K Drive. We're here on Xbox Series S. Be sure to like the video. Subscribing is great as well. So this is the joy of LEGO mixed with driving in an open world setting. Kind of akin to the magic of Forza Horizon. And you know what? The results are actually pretty great. This game is a lot of fun and it's got lots of little lego things for all of the big well lego fans out there and maybe some that aren't fans but just want to have a fun easy going racing kind of driving experience and you can have that here because this is actually really really well done and well put together it's a lot of fun and you can do like online multiplayer up to like six uh there's supposed to be local co-op up to two and uh yeah kind of great as i terrorize all the people in the town what are we getting here on the Series S? It's actually not too bad looking. Looks like it's 1080p at 60 FPS. It definitely is fluid. It does actually like, yeah, you know, feel pretty nice to play, and is uh, pretty visually impressive. So, yeah, you've got a selection of environments that you're able to visit. So this is like. Uh, the, the lands of Bricklandia, but there's a main hub area, Turbo Acres. We're in the Big Butte country. So this is kind of like the western area, and there's just like this huge array of different like challenges and cups and characters that you can compete against. And you can kind of personalize and customize your vehicle options, and uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's It's really, really quite cool. It's, it's obviously something that is a little bit, and I think there's like seasonal stuff built into this too, I kind of noticed. But it, it is kind of built a little bit more for the younger audience, but at the same time I think you can have a lot of fun at any age playing this LEGO game. Because it's just like a large scale LEGO driving adventure. I don't know if it's necessarily like an endless LEGO driving adventure, but it's one that offers quite a lot of gameplay for you to enjoy. There's a lot more popping on Series S, at least I think so, compared to what I was recalling for the Series X version of this one. I definitely did notice that, but I, I do think it actually does look really, really good. Like, I'm quite happy with the aesthetics and the design of this one. It's pretty clean, it's decently sharp, and it's fun. That's the biggest thing, is it's a fun LEGO driving game. Like, really, any other LEGO or any other driving game you play, but it's been Legoized. It's got like fun arcadey type things where you might think a little bit of like blur. And it's got that open world stuff that's kind of like full to horizon, but you get it across a few different hubs. Everything's chaotic. There's lots of destruction that can go on. It really is quite a visual treat. I do notice at times though, there's like little, little performance hiccups here or there, but you do get a largely kind of clean experience, and at least it is trying to achieve that 60 FPS, which is kind of nice. What also is really, really cool about this one, really, really interesting, is the fact that you race across different conditions. So when you're on the road, you're a regular kind of car. If you go off-roading, you go on to an ATV. If you are on the water, you become a boat, which is pretty cool. And yeah, that's just kind of the setup of it, is you just get a large array of different ways for you to race and compete with others. And then there's rewards for winning and coming in first, obviously, you get even better rewards. But it's, it's really how you want to kind of compete, and they have just really good laughs and a good time with this one. Like, I really do think this is kind of a fun LEGO experience that's pretty familiar in terms of being, you know, just another kind of racing game, but in a LEGOized version. It's actually really good as a way to kind of get, I would say, the younger audience into, like, a racing game would be the introduction of using LEGO to achieve that. But also just the fact that it is a little bit more easygoing, and I think you can pick up the mechanics of how to compete pretty well in, in racing games by playing this. And it is kind of a little bonkers, like there is uh, a lot going on in this one. You notice all of like the destructive elements and things that have been happening while I've been competing. You get to see all the breaking of all like these sets with like the Lego stuff getting destroyed. 
yeah, it's, it's just very, very well put together. A good amount of challenge, a good amount of freedom, and that's kind of what you would expect for this sort of thing, right? Easygoing, fun, action for all ages and whatnot. That's kind of where we're at for this sort of thing. Race anyway, explore the vast world of Bricklandia, showing off your sick racing skills. Of course, making your own stuff along the way. Like I mentioned, like you can actually like make your little racing cars and stuff, which if you're into doing that, it's a pretty cool feature to have, I would say. Yeah, Turbo Acres, Big Butt Country, Cruise Cross Perspectives, Valleys, uh, Picturesque Waterways, and a lot more. And you're like leveling your character up, you're meeting these weird quirky personalities for racing, and yeah, it's, it's just kind of a fun sort of thing. It, it really genuinely is. I don't want to do the loadout thing. Why are you making me do this kind of stuff? Leave me alone. Okay, that's good. I get there's other cars out there, but I like my speedy little vehicle. I'm gonna show you the dinosaur area. It's really great. So, yeah, it's like a big Lego dinosaur. They basically, also the world itself, okay, aside from these really cool dinosaurs, the world itself is created in the sense as if it is a real world place and they've sort of put Lego onto it. Is like the giant minifig head over there that is a propane tank and uh, there's lots of real world things that are kind of layered within this town and it kind of gives it a larger than life feeling that I think is really really quite cool. I think we got to go over there and we can set that uh, journey up if we want to. I think it's just kind of fun you know the story it's, it's, it's as large as it is you know it's semi-limited I guess in scope but the fact that there's lots of seasonal stuff and they've added things to this one I think it's just kind of an easy going fun Lego adventure that you can really quite enjoy and, and sink your teeth into it's, it's something you can genuinely have a blast playing it at least I as much as I've been kind of rolling through this and playing this game I've just been having a really good time with it so I'm assuming others will have that sort of thing too, especially if you are of the younger audience being into LEGO even more or just wanting kind of a fun racing driving game. It's uh, pretty spectacular. The set design, everything's great too. I've turned off the music in, in case you were wondering as well. There is actually like a bump in track and stuff like that. There's mini game things, cup series, tourneys, single races, drifting stuff, boosting. Smashing things, breaking things, living the Lego world your way. There's like a certain element of like comicalness to it. It just really works well. I'm glad that we're still getting high quality, high octane Lego games. Because you always get worried that, you know, some properties, they kind of come and then they vanish for a bit in gaming. And Yeah, it is cool that there's been longevity. And if anything, seems to actually be expanding for Lego titles. Although I do miss the, was it the Traveler's Tales Lego games? Those ones are always fun where you're like working together and stuff like that. So hopefully we get more of those after Lego Star Wars. But I believe they're only set up for one more after that, which is a shame. But at least uh, we got Take Two doing some more Lego things. I've heard that there's rumblings of other Lego sporting titles that are supposed to be coming down the road from them. Versions of the. I guess you would say sports titles, but in a Lego format, Legoized, as some would say. So that's actually kind of a fun little sort of thing that they're doing on that side, which I think is great. And I can't wait to see where that all kind of pans out too. I guess this is kind of just the start of it. Hopefully it actually does well enough that we... Whoa, what's going on there? Oof. Hopefully it does well enough that we maybe see this concept followed upon because it is sort of tapping into that Forza Horizon thing. Which is also funny because Forza Horizon did some Lego, I think a couple, right? Lego sort of expansions like this. It's, yeah, it kind of works pretty well in this one. But it's flashy, stylistic, never waste a moment allowing you to just kind of drive and get rewards and take on your foes. Imagine the younger ones too will find this even more competitive because it's actually like it's not too bad for difficulty like you get to scale obviously difficulty stuff as would be expected for this kind of game but 
Yeah, they, they do actually provide a, a bit of a challenge for you. They don't... They don't make it easy, that is for sure. I mean, I'm doing well, but there, there is a bit of a struggle involved within this racing game. They're not uh, letting me just coast, as to say. They're actually putting up quite an effort. I want a flag! Yeah, I unlocked the Space Rover, and I beat Dr. Fastro. Yeah, you better get out of here. You can see for the kids, well, those would be lovely and charming, wouldn't it? Take on the infamous Shadow Z. Oh, no. How am I ever going to be able to work my way up to that kind of level of competition? I'm out here just trying to be a Le Lego hero, getting to the big leagues. Looks like I just had some seasonal progress going on. See, it's like a good, long, building Lego game. I love the idea of this. Hmm. I definitely would not at all mind more Clutch Racing Team more offerings like this. The next race? The Grand Brick Arena? Where is the Grand Brick Arena? Or has it not shown up yet on my quest map? Hmm. Is it's love that you can destroy stuff too everywhere, which is so cool. Go to Astro Farms and check out the observatory. I was just over there. <laughs> You couldn't have told me this while I was in the vicinity of that place. You're gonna make me go all the way back over there. Ridiculous. But it really is cool too seeing the racing segments go from being on land to then being in the water and then back on land. It's, it's sort of when they were trying to do more advanced arcade racing sort of changes at a time. I don't know how to describe that, but we were sort of getting this big adjustment to how racing games were done, arcade racing games, because they were trying to mix things up by adding different layers, right? Like boats and stuff like that. This one kind of just seamlessly merges those all in a very satisfying way. You think people get mad when I'm, uh... You're kind of driving around destroying absolutely everything? A robot invasion. Okay. I think it's a UFO. I think we're being invaded from Lego Aliens Beyond. So many sets okay. over the years of so cool stuff for Lego. Something's happening. It's, it's Look at the mud too. This is also interesting, I find, that they do Lego games. But they sort of have this aesthetic where it's real world being merged with like a fake world of or, well, real world being merged with Lego bricks. It is always fascinating how that works. How many of these enemies are there? That's that's a lot of invading creatures. How am I supposed to kill all of them? I know they're moving slow, but uh, this, this seems like it's going to be a problem. How much health does this stuff have? Because that's that's a lot of. We're only on wave one of three. Look at look at all these things. I'm, I'm giving her all I got, but yeah. So this is an idea of like the mini games, essentially in action, is the defending stuff and everything. An electric blast attack? Sounds good to me. I love that something like this exists. Like, it's such a cool concept for a game. It really just works. Anyone else want to get destroyed by this LEGO ATV? -er? I, like, I don't know if it's like detrimental if I don't kill all of them. They're not really even aliens, they're- oh, it's a robot invasion. Are they robot aliens? Are they robots that aliens have sent to destroy our LEGO way of living? Because our LEGO way of life is important. Yeah, this doesn't seem that difficult. This, this seems like a pretty easy challenge. At first I was sitting there, I was like, oh, I don't know about this. As long as you seemingly kind of smash everything you can, it's, uh, it's going pretty well my way. Hmm. What a quirky, fun little Lego adventure. I was actually disappointed it, it took them... What was it? I wanted a code at launch. 
as you always do, or even before launch was our deal. Just throwing that out there. And then, like, they sent it to me, like, I think, like, months after release, and then I didn't really get to it for a while after that. I just kind of was sitting there, and I played it, like, not even, like, a month ago, and I was just like, oh, this is actually a lot of fun. It was good to have a nice excuse at the time to revisit this on the, uh, the Series S. Destroy a thousand objects. They count as objects? These robots have lives. These robots have feelings. Maybe they don't, I don't know, are they, are they sentient robots? One of the deeper questions that we should be having during these uh, games of use. What does it all mean? Who will survive? Definitely a lot of character to this one though, right? Like, very high polish too. Like, I know the frame rate isn't... Perfectly smooth the whole way through on this one for Series S, but it does look really nice. It does look really clean and sharp. And that's what matters at the end of the day. I think we've kind of defended this spot. You know, I didn't really anticipate that I would be a, a Lego hero today, fending off against the robots trying to destroy our way of living. Oh wow, a lot of our things are like half destroyed. Like, I can definitely see how you can mess up and fail on this one. Hmm. Does sound like a you problem. Some would say it sucks to suck, right? We did it. We're a hero, but you go from racing to open world stuff. There's lots of personalization stuff to unlock and get. And... It's just kind of really lovely and fun to play. That's, at the end of the day, what you sort of want from a LEGO game, right? It's just this big, exciting adventure that you can just waste away the time doing. Yeah. Typical. You never could take responsibility for anything except first place trophies. It's true. That's fair, I guess. I think now is the perfect time for a change of Oh, please. All right, all right. Open your world map. I can go to Prospecto. <gasps> a new world? Prospecto yeah, Valley. Right now, oh, when you're ready to go to Prospecto Valley, just fast travel to that garage. I will fast travel to that garage. Take me to Prospecto Valley. Oh, that looks wonderful. That looks like a wonderful Lego land. Haha. <laughs> I should really this revisit Legoland someday. And what a valley it is. Lush, Lush spaces. Lots of space to race. Folks here are good people. Some work hard at the logging. I can't look kind of like mean and evil to be honest. Wow, look at this. Isn't this just lovely, eh? Beat the gold rush. Beat the vessel run. The vessel run? Is that like a joke about the castle run? Oh, look at the lighting and the colors of this area. It's so nice looking. Look, there's a giant rubber ducky. Quack. Huh. I think they really nailed the design and the aesthetics for this, this game overall. It's really, really quite enchanting. Is that like purple thing? Something we're actually supposed to like pick up? I'm kind of wondering. Where is this thing? Internet backfire? We need lots of little interactive stuff on this one. It's a fun little Lego time in a big Lego city world. This area looks so distinct too. I was expecting even more Prospector like, but no. This is really nice. What are they like? Cougars attacking the town? Giant wild cats? He still would believe that this might be somebody's garden or something. And that, at the end of the day, is the mastery of, of Lego with real-world stuff. I always wonder why they never go full Lego. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if you're supposed to ever go full Lego, but... I would really like the idea of seeing a straight-up complete Lego world. Probably easier just to design some of it as real and some of it as Lego, I guess. Effort-wise and that, but... It would be cool to see a fully Lego adventure someday in one of these games. Maybe they used to back in the day. I don't know. 
pretty cool game. Definitely worth checking out, especially for the younger ones. If you're looking for something weird and new to play, this is uh, a great option. It genuinely is. It's, it's well worth your time.